Hi, I'm William Mara, and I'm after finishing four years of the honours degree Mechanical Engineering here in Bolt Street, DT022. I chose Mechanical Engineering over other engineering disciplines um, because it's, it's quite versatile. You can apply yourself to a lot of industries um, quite quickly. So you could be looking at aeronauticals, or you could be looking at renewable energies, you could be looking at design and mechanics, and found that DAT best suited what I wanted. Um, Others are very kind of, you know, theoretically based and I, I knew for myself I wouldn't survive a theoretic, too, too strong a theory based where you haven't got the practical experience and you haven't got a taste of industry before you get into industry. I had honours maths uh, for the Leaving Cert, it is a requirement to come into the honours degree. Um, I came into the general entry and the general entry kind of gives you an oversight of all the different engineering disciplines. I then went into um, manufacturing and mechanical in second year and in third year I specified into mechanical. So even after the second year and the third year, you still have scope to select what is best for you. Mechanical engineering itself is so hard to define because it's quite broad. Um, I think the best way to do it is a mechanical engineer uh, applies his technical information to something and creates something and makes it more valuable. So you get something as a lesser value, puts in his information and makes it really valuable through design. And you learn you know, how power is generated, um, how things work, how things vibrate, how things interact with each other. It's a really, you know, you would get a, a technical expertise on how to how to deal with equipment, how to apply software, and how to solve problems. You are a problem solver and, and DIT will give you the tools to do that. From the, the lamps on the street to the, to the public bicycles, to the bus passing you by, to the car pulling up to pick you up, to the gates opening, um, absolutely everything you see has some level of engineering involved in it. I graduate this year and academically I want to go on and investigate aeronautical um, and if not aeronautical, renewable energies. They're both very prospering uh, industries and something I've found that I've just latched onto since I came in. I really love it and I like all the aspects that come with it. In terms of where you could end up, uh, you could be working for ESBI, you could be working for E.ON, you could be working for Jaguar, you could be working for um, you know, food production uh, companies, you could be working for anyone. The thing is, it's such a versatile degree. You can also apply for jobs in Mitsubishi Heavy Industries where I applied myself. You can, you can work all over the world. It's internationally accredited. Um, an engineering degree is, is so recognised that you can put it in your back pocket and the world is your oyster. You can go anywhere. I was advised to do it. I had done some psychometric tests in second, second school and they had said, OK, well, you're best suited to an engineering degree. And at the time, I was really confused. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. Um, there was no much scope, very little information. I found myself to always be um, a very analytical person. I was quite good with numbers. I liked to, you know, really get my hands dirty and I think DIT really caters for that and um, the fact that I was able to apply what my interests were and get the best out of the degree. It's very important uh, to look into the background of each course, look at the syllabus, look exactly what they're teaching you, what will you be doing in four years, it's you that's going to be doing the degree, not your parents, not your friends. Make sure you are well informed, look into absolutely every aspect of the course, um, you know, where the standard lectures are, where you can apply to after you get your degree and um, then you'll be best equipped in what course you're doing.